I'm invested into the results. I want results to be this way. As long as things go this way, I'm happy. When things don't go the way I want them, then I suffer. Suffering comes. So what if I, I'll use another example. So for those of you who maybe didn't get this part, I want to make sure you get this part, then I go to the next explanation. And I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. So let's say I meet this young lady or lady, whatever. And I'm very invested. I want her to marry me, okay? And I'm doing whatever I have to. You know, I do all the jumping jacks. You know, I'm trying to, to sweep her from under her feet and be kind and be loving and be generous and do everything she wants and, and be romantic and be the ideal man that she wants. I'm doing everything. I'm investing heavily on her to say yes. Say, yes, I marry you. So I do all these jumping jacks and spend all this money and do all the stuff I have to do to change myself, to appear the way she wants me to be, all the things right, like what you did, Suzanne, 15 years, you did everything right. And now, at the last moment when I go see her and I kneel and I open the box and show her the ring, she says no. I'm not ready to marry you. I don't want to marry you. I don't know, blah, 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 whatever is the reason. She says no. And I'm heavily invested. It's been three years that I'm investing on this thing. And now she says no. Actually, I want to go to India. I want to go travel, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not ready. And now I'm deeply broken. Because I didn't get what I want. Things didn't go my way. And I'm very invested in it. This was a big investment. Three years, lots of time, money, jumping jacks, and now the answer is no. So, if I'm heavily attached, attached to the result, and results don't go my way, then I'm going to suffer. Suffering comes. And suffering is not fun. However, if I've been able to develop an attitude of indifference to the results, and if things go my way, they're perfect, and if things don't go my way, I'm okay. I'm fine. Because I love myself. I found peace within myself. And I trust that life will provide another situation. Existence is what is feeding me. Existence is the one who brings love to me. Existence is what opens doors for me or closes doors for me. It's God, it's spirit, it's existence that gives me everything I need and provides for me. Because I'm the son of existence. They created me. I didn't create myself. Not that I remember I created myself. Something created this dude. That thing is responsible to take care of this guy. I'm not my own responsibility. I know some of you may just be a little bit shocked about this comment. I am not, and you are not your own responsibility. God is responsible for you because he or she is the one created you. You didn't create yourself. If you did, you would have looked different. You would have had a different body. You would have a lot of money and you would have a lot of lovers. You would never get sick. You would never cut yourself. You would look like an avatar, woman or man. Obviously, you didn't create yourself. And if you did, you did a shitty job. <laughs> because there's a lot of defects in there. 
So you need to go back to school and learn how to create human beings. Anyway, you're fine the way you are. I love you because I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> I love myself. But anyway, back into business. Whomever has created this is the person, the one, the entity is responsible for your well-being. So if I develop this attitude, if I learn and practice this being of trusting existence, it's easier for me to say it because I had five near-death experiences, five times. Three times out of that, five times, I should have not been alive. I cheated life. And I'm here on this planet on borrowed time. I should have been dead. Something didn't want me to die. Something saved me in the last moment. Otherwise, it would have been impossible. It's not possible for what happened to me and you come out of it untouched and alive. You should have been dead or dismembered. None of it happened. That thing is also responsible to take care of my well-being and, and feed me. Because I don't have that power of manipulating existence to go my way. But I tried. Definitely. I tried many times. It doesn't work. So that's one is the trust also is to develop this attitude that things go my way, I'm very happy. Things don't go my way, I am okay. Because I am not investing on my happiness based on what happens in the world or based on a woman says yes to me or says no or my friends or anyone. If I based my happiness on what is happening in the world, I would be in trouble and I would be suffering. If my happiness was based on things go my way. So that's one part I recommend that we look at and develop that attitude. Because this whole thing, this passage you're going through right now, Suzanne, this entire ordeal is about faith. It's about trust. It's about staying in this place, staying still. It's okay your mind goes crazy. It's okay that you get mind bombardment and the thoughts coming that what's going to happen to me? What am I going to do with my kids? I'm going to lose my home. Da -da 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 -da. All of these thoughts are okay. Don't beat yourself up if you're bombarded by a million thoughts. You can't control the thoughts. You can't control your emotions. You're not in control of neither your thoughts, nor your emotions, nor your body. You can't control any of them. All three of them do what they want to do. And you can't do anything about it. We've tried to manipulate it. We all did. It doesn't work. At one point, you have to pull back and say, okay, it's okay for my mind to be bombarded. But you know what? I can see it. If I see a, bomb a mind which is bombarding, then it has no effect on me because I can still see it. I still am aware of it. I can still see things. Maybe they take my home away. Maybe my children they go. Maybe I lose my everything. But I still am and I'm still aware. The awareness is still here. So you're going through this passage. This passage is about trusting, trusting God, trusting spirit that which brought you in this life, that which gave you children, 